Together, we're going to predict the 1H NMR spectrum of 2 pentanone or pentan 2 ohm as it's officially called. That's five carbons all single bonded to each other with a double bonded oxygen on the second carbon in the chain. Didn't matter if I drew it here or there because it would have been the same molecule just in a different order. Step one, find the equivalent hydrogens. Now, this double bonded oxygen is not in the center of the molecule, which means there's much less symmetry here than if it was pentan 3 ohm. So these hydrogens, which are at, uh, on carbon number one, are close-ish to the C double bonded O, but there's no other CH3 group remotely close to that C double bonded O. They are not equivalent to any other hydrogens but each other. Next, as we move down the chain, we have a CH2 group. They're equivalent to each other. Farther down the chain still, these two hydrogens are equivalent to each other. And at the very end of the chain, farthest away from the C double bonded O, these guys are equivalent to each other. Cool? These three hydrogens, three hydrogens, how is that peak in the NMR spectrum going to be split? The answer to that is how many hydrogens are on carbons adjacent to him? Well, that's the only adjacent carbon, and there are two hydrogens there. I like to say that that is split twice. That makes the splitting pattern into a triplet with a one, two, one pattern in the sizes of the peaks. The H's circled in blue here, there are two of them. How many hydrogens are adjacent to him? One, two, three on this carbon and two on this carbon. That makes five in total. I like to say that this guy is split five times. That makes it into a what's called sextet. Oh man, I don't even remember Pascal's triangle that far. Pascal's triangle starts with one, 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 and then one, two, one, because these two ones combine to make that two. Then we have one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one, one, five, ten, ten, five, one. That's the sextet because there are six numbers. But can you guys see the pattern we're getting at here? That three is the sum of the two numbers above it. That six is the sum of the two numbers above it. That five is the sum of the two numbers above it, etc. If I wanted the next row, one plus five makes six, five plus 10 make 15, 10 plus 10 make 20, five plus 10 make 15, five plus one makes six, and we always put ones on either side. Pascal's triangle continues like this, if you're taking an MR, NMR course, you probably know enough math to recognize it. But my point is that the way these peaks are going to be split is probably 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Now, I've oversimplified this a little bit by saying that these hydrogens will result in the exact same amount of splitting as these guys. The purples and the greens are not chemically equivalent to each other. That's why I've circled them with different colors. So they will result in a slightly different amount of splitting. If you have an NMR instrument that is ultra high resolution, I believe you're able to see the difference between those. Um, but if you're working with NMRs that are that fancy, you're probably not watching this beginner's video. So we're just gonna assume it's a sextet, deal? Here we have another two hydrogens. How many hydrogens are on the carbons adjacent to him? Only these guys. These guys are too far away. It's carbons attached to that carbon. And so he is going to be split twice. That makes him a triplet as well. So it's a one, two, one pattern. And finally, these three hydrogens, the carbon adjacent to this carbon has no hydrogens on him so they're not going to be split at all. Cool? All right, let's draw the spectrum, yo. Ooh, let's start here, close to the double bonded CO. Three hydrogens not split, that makes him pretty easy. I'm just gonna draw what we call a singlet for that. 
I should write that here just for you guys. This is a singlet because it's not split at all. It's just a peak as you'd expect. Next, we have uh, two hydrogens close-ish to the double bonded O, and they're going to be split twice into a triplet. So I'm just going to arbitrarily put uh, one, two, one here. Now I'm going to move farther to the right as I get farther away from my electronegative atom. So I'm going to put him next. We have a sextet. That's a one, five, ten, ten. Five, one, the scale is not proportional here uh, because these both represent two hydrogens. The integrated area should be the same for these two guys, but sue me, just make these a little smaller. And farthest away from the C double bonded O, i.e. probably closest to zero ppm, we have three hydrogens split into another triplet. I'm just gonna arbitrarily put a triplet here you know, one, two, one formation, and the integrated area there should be three hydrogens. All right, so this is my prediction for the NMR spectrum of pentan to own. Now I've taken the liberty of downloading the NMR spectrum from the spectral database for organic, com organic compounds of two pentanone. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Ah, interesting. So here we have the triplet first and then the singlet. They were both close-ish, or right, they were both adjacent to the C double bonded O. I don't know, I don't, there was no real reason for me to put it in this order, and it turns out it was in the opposite order. It's always tough to predict uh, the order of peaks when they're uh, so close to each other, or rather they're, when they're so close to an electronegative atom. Uh, if you saw my uh, my video about drawing the NMR spectrum for alcohols, you'll understand what I mean. For some reason, the OH hydrogen ends up being between... No, that's not even the right spectrum. Whatever. The point is, I got the order of these two mixed around, but they're so close together, I argue it would have been tough to predict anyways. Then we have a sextet, a 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 pattern here. Uh, they're all really short because you've split it so many times into several small peaks. <laughs> See how small the peaks are relative to my fingers. And, uh, and then we have another triplet, close to zero ppm. Yeah, not too bad. All right, if you understand why I got these peaks and the approximate order of them and why they're split in this way, you're fine. That's how NMR goes. Best of luck.